Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have got another Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. One of my viewers reached out and said, Hey, can you make a straw? I've got an idea, so let me show you what I'm thinking. Of course, friends, step one is to visit Tinkercad. I always choose sign in with Google, and today we're going to do a new 3D design. Let's start by naming it. I am going to call this one a straw and then friends we are going to build it with an amazing tool called the tube. Now Brian had very special measurements he wanted. He wanted the diameter to be seven millimeters. So therefore under the radius we need to do half of that. So 3.5. Now notice that fills our straw in which is pretty funny. So let's go to the wall thickness and let's make it 0.1 bingo straw shape he also requested that it be 25.5 centimeters tall so we're going to do 255 and press enter bingo you've got a straw how cool is that can barely fit it on the screen now i want to make this a little more fun we are going to make it white and i'm going to do Control d to move a second one across I would like to add two red stripes to it and I'm gonna do that with the gradient trick so hang on friends this is pretty cool we're gonna make this a hole we're gonna bring out a plain box we'll stretch the box all the way past it we'll select them both we're gonna do a line we're gonna choose middle middle and we're gonna group when you make this transparent, you can see our straw is inside there. We're going to make that a hole, and we're going to just move it to the side. Now we need to make the cool gradient inside here. We are going to simply bring out a box. We need to make it a little smaller, so we're going to hold shift, and we're going to squeeze it down. I'm going to tell you a great number is 17, and then we need to stretch it up. Not all the way, but let's go to like 257 or 258, so that it will fit inside and still be a little taller than our straw cutout. Now I said I wanted the white stripes on it. Are you ready for this? We're going to take this same shape do control D move it a little bit make it the white color I'm gonna make it the skinny size I want the stripes to be I think I want my stripes like that I'm gonna take those two shapes and do a line could use the letter L we're gonna go bingo and bingo so those two parts are together all right friends we are gonna turn this into an instant gradient watch this so this is 17 right now so we know it fits in the 20 so I'm just going to drive it with the arrow keys way out. I'm going to click right here and I'm going to do D to drop. Now instead of 17, let's put the work plane back on the ground and let's make it half a 17. So we'll type 8.5. Let's spin around to this side. This is weird looking at it from the top, but hopefully you understand. I'm just putting the work plane there, doing control D, doing drop work plane back on the ground and you can just see we have made a red and white gradient if we group that notice it turns to one color let's make multicolor come back on bingo there's our white in the middle friends here we go align one more time and we're gonna cut that awesome two color straw out when you hit group bingo you have got a red and white straw now let's say we wanted it to be the opposite way. Watch this. Control D. Let's nudge it out. Hide the hole for one moment. And then flip flop our colors. So I'm going to double click, and make this one white. Make the inside one red. Or we could do some other color like pink, whatever you want. And white. And then when you click outside, it is grouped, show all, and let's make a couple of awesome straws. Control G to group, Control G to group, and bingo, straws are created. How fun is that? Friends, of course, I wanna end by saying thanks again to Brian. Oh my gosh, great idea and so cool that you took a moment to share it with me. 
friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.